Hi everyone. Welcome back to the second episode of Death Valley Explorer series. Hope you all ready for it. So hang in tight and enjoy the show. People expect Death Valley to be totally waterless and totally lifeless. With a name like Death Valley, that makes sense on all counts. But water is here. You just have to know where to look for it. They know it's the hottest, driest spot. They kind of expect that. But they really don't know that there's so much water here. They don't know about the fact that we have millions of gallons of water at Furnace Creek, that the Saratoga Springs Oasis has these big, huge ponds of water, that there's multiple springs and water flowing out of the mountains of the Panamints. We often don't think about that, but there is water in Death Valley, and where there's water, there's life. Water is so important in Death Valley that it's shaped everything that you see here, but it's mostly gone. You don't see it all the time. It may be here briefly from thunderstorms. It may be just in isolated spots, yet it's shaped everything. The most famous sites you see here have been shaped by water. Most people aren't even aware of that. You can see the remnants. You can see the ghosts of that water on the landscape everywhere here. You can see the deep cut canyons. You can see the big alluvial fans. You can see the deposits on the salt flats. In a way, it's offering us something, showing us what has happened, but it's no longer there. It's just a ghost. Underlying Death Valley, there is a huge aquifer. This aquifer has very abundant water, and it's Ice Age water that has been traveling below the surface for tens of thousands of years. Yet here we are, the driest place in the nation, and the water's below the surface. You never really see it except for a few places, and one of the best places to see it is a place called Devil's Hole. It's a limestone cavern that you peer down into this hole, you see the surface of the water. There's always water there. So it's a window into that ancient aquifer. Another ghost of water in Death Valley is something called Lake Manly. Can you imagine? Death Valley was once filled with a huge freshwater lake. This was as much as 600 feet deep at its deepest. It was a remnant of the ice ages when the region was much more wet and the drainage system was much wider. Water came all the way from the Sierra Nevada, even as far away as Mono Lake, that water would fill up the basins and make their way to Death Valley, which was the end of the line. And today, all of that water is gone, all that remains are remnants of lake shores and beaches and the salt flats. Death Valley gets less than two inches of rain a year, which is an amazingly small amount of rain. And when you think about it, those moisture-laden clouds coming in from the Pacific, rising up over the Sierra Nevada, most of that moisture is released on the west side of the mountains. But we're not just in the rain shadow of the Sierra Nevada. We're in the rain shadow of a rain shadow of a rain shadow. So there's the Sierra Nevada Mountains, then the Inyo Mountains, then the Panamint Mountains, and finally Death Valley, we receive very little rain. If Death Valley is in such a dramatic rain shadow, you would think that no rain would ever get here. But winter storms don't always come directly from the west. Sometimes they circle around. It's, it's rotating storms. and can pull the moisture up from the south, or best of all, from the east. So those are the ones we love here. Because they're slow, they're gentle, the water can actually soak into the soil, which provides moisture for the widespread plants across the desert. It can cause the wildflower seeds to sprout, and we can have a wonderful bloom. Maybe if we're lucky, a super bloom can happen if enough rain comes. When it all falls into place, Death Valley can be transformed by fields of flowers.
When we have some wet years, the Amargosa River will flow in from the south and will actually have a temporary lake form in the bottom of Death Valley. We still refer to it as Lake Manly. If you want to experience water in Death Valley, you can't just wait for a rainstorm because you never know when those are gonna come. You have to go where the water's at. So there are places you can go see water, like Salt Creek, where there's a flowing stream of rare little fish that live in that one. You could go to Saratoga Springs in the far southern part of the park, where there's big ponds of water that attract birds. You could go to Darwin Falls on the western side of the park, where there's a spring-fed stream that pours down a deep canyon. The swimming pools at the Furnace Creek Ranch or the swimming pool at Stovepipe Wells are a place you can go and actually immerse yourself into that water. Wow, time really does fly so fast. We are already end of the video. Hope you all like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss our latest videos. Positive vibes and prayers for you all. Thank you for watching. Bye, till next time.